I felt excluded and penalized for my preferred style of play. It's like pulling the AAA developer card where they hold the fun hostage unless you pay money. Huh. Those are, uh, those are some, uh, interesting choices in games there. Hmm. I think this is worth talking about. Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So a pretty interesting statement was uh, made by another YouTuber named Josh Scorcher, whose countdown videos I really enjoy. During one part of the video of his latest countdown video, he gave the impression that the two video games, Warframe and Destiny, were games where you had to pay for the fun, that there was a paywall blocking you from the fun. That's a pretty interesting statement there about these two video games. Now this got the gears in my head turning and I thought this was worth a video. This is worth a discussion. Warframe and Destiny, are they pay for fun video games? Well, let's take a look at Destiny first. Now Destiny is a retail game with DLC expansions. Now like any retail game, you have to pay money. You have to purchase the game to play it. No duh. So let's say that's 60 bucks. 60 bucks for the base game of Destiny, not the expansions. Now, the statement that Destiny is a pay for fun video game would have to imply that even after purchasing the game, the retail product, the base vanilla product of Destiny, without the expansions, since Destiny has no microtransactions, the only thing you have to pay for is the base game and the DLC expansions. To say that Destiny is a pay-for-fun video game would have to say that the base vanilla game of Destiny is no fun at all, and the only fun to have in Destiny is in the DLC expansions. If we're calling Destiny a pay-for-fun video game, the stuff you'd have to pay for the fun, where the fun relies that you'd have to pay for, would be the DLC expansions, suggesting that the base game of Destiny is no fun at all. I would have to disagree greatly. To say the base game of Destiny is no fun at all without buying the expansions, well, one, it's subjective whether you find Destiny fun or not. Destiny is a quality good game product, but whether you like the game, whether you personally find it enjoyable, is totally subjective. But the main difference between the base game of Destiny and its DLC expansions is that the DLC expansions come with new weapons, new locations and just new content overall. It doesn't change the gameplay necessarily, it just adds more content. In both The Dark Below, House of Wolves, and the upcoming The Taken King expansion. While all of these expansions add more content, they add more weapons, more locations, more enemies, the base gameplay remains the same. Destiny's gameplay does not change. The DLC adds additions and may change a few little statistics around certain features in the game, but the base gameplay itself remains the same. And how does one obtain fun from video games? The gameplay. And since the gameplay of Destiny remains the same in the base game and in the DLC expansions, stating that Destiny is a pay for fun video game is illogical and kind of false. You're not paying for fun with Destiny, you're just paying for more content. You know how DLC usually goes, like with season passes, with expansions, which is what Destiny's... Ex well, expansions! They're even called expansions! This is stuff that's been going on for years. What makes Destiny different? Why is Destiny pay for fun? Why is the DLC content, the stuff you have to pay for, more fun than the base game. It's the same game, just more content. Why is the normal base game not fun, yet the DLC is? That wouldn't, that doesn't make any sense. So, I'm sorry, I wouldn't call Destiny a pay-for-fun video game. I don't consider Destiny to be a pay-for-fun video game. I don't even play Destiny. I have friends who play Destiny, and I am extremely interested in the game, and I hope every single goddamn day that an announcement finally happens that Destiny is coming to the PC, but even I, someone who doesn't play Destiny, a non-Destiny player, can tell the difference between a pay-for-fun video game 
and the game that Destiny is. You're not paying for fun. Whether the game is fun is completely up to you. You can't say that the only way to have fun in the game is to buy the expansions, because the expansions are just the same game of Destiny, with just more stuff. Yes, more stuff is fun, more stuff is awesome, but more stuff doesn't really matter if the base game isn't fun. Which is totally subjective, but I'm just going to look at popular opinion, and popular opinion states that Destiny is fun. So Destiny? A pay-for-fun video game? Nuh-uh, I'm sorry, I can't agree with that statement. Nope, not a pay-for-fun game. Alright, now let's look at Warframe. Warframe, a pay-for-fun video game? <laughs> oh god, no, 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 no. While I can sort of understand that statement, calling Warframe a pay-for-fun video game, um, here's the thing, it's a free-to-play video game. And not only is it free-to-play, 90% of all the items in Warframe, weapons, characters, resources, and other miscellaneous things, are all available to you for free, all you have to do is, well, play the game, collect resources, maybe do a bit of grinding. You know how most free-to-play games work? How they run? How they survive? Like, that's the pay model of free-to-play games? Everything's available. Surely there are timers. Timers for stuff, of course. Or you could spend real-world money to get stuff faster or get stuff immediately, not having to grind or get resources. But that's how free-to-play games work. You can play Warframe totally free and have fun with the game. Again, whether you have fun with Warframe is totally subjective. And I highly doubt millions of people wouldn't be playing Warframe every single day on PC and consoles if the game wasn't fun. I mean, for goodness sakes, Warframe is the equivalent of Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 is free to play. But you can spend money on new weapons and miscellaneous items. So calling Warframe a pay-for-fun video game and not Team Fortress 2 is kind of a bit hypocritical. I mean, you wouldn't play Team Fortress 2 if the base gameplay wasn't fun, and you can play Team Fortress 2 without paying a penny, just like in Warframe. But of course, there are timers, there's stuff you have to grind for, currency, or if you don't like waiting or making an effort into getting certain items, you can just spend real-world money like how every single free-to-play game works. And to call Warframe a pay-for-fun video game would also, like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, I sound like a broken record here, that would mean the base game wasn't fun. So let me get this straight. Playing as a space ninja that can parkour, jump off walls, wall run, use superpowers, using a combination of third-person shooting with third-person hack and slash, all this and more available from the get-go without paying a penny, so all that isn't fun. So Warf the only way to have fun in Warframe is to pay for stuff, is to pay for new characters, to pay for new weapons, even though you can earn them for free in-game with just some patience and persistence. No, 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 no. The, the only way to have fun in Warframe is to pay for all that stuff. Nope. Sorry, Warframe is not pay for fun. Destiny is not pay for fun. The definition of pay for fun would mean there is no fun to begin with in the games, which is why you would be paying for the fun, because there's no fun to begin with in the base game. And calling Warframe and Destiny pay for fun video games when they're two varying different types of games, and the stuff you have to pay for is so varyingly different. Warframe has microtransactions, but it needs microtransactions because it's a free-to-play game, and that's how free-to-play games function, and free-to-play games need to make money in order to sustain themselves. Destiny is a retail game, and if they want players to keep playing that retail game, they have to offer more content, but they can't always offer all this content for free. Yes, they'll add in free updates and free content, but big chunks, big expansive pieces of content, expansion packs, expansion DLCs, those requ- you need compensation for that. The developers can't work on all the stuff and not get compensation. That's losing money, not making money, and that's not good for business. I'm like, 
Calling these games pay for fun is a bit out there, a bit ignorant. But hey, fun is totally subjective. If you think the only way, if you believe, if the way you feel, the only way to have fun in Warframe and Destiny is to pay for it, and if you're not enjoying the base game, then, okay, answer me this. If you're not enjoying the base game of Warframe and Destiny without paying any extra money, why is it the only way you have fun with the game is paying money, even though the stuff you're paying for is just more of the same game? Like, I don't understand that logic. If that's the way you feel, I can't stop you. The fun is totally subjective. If the only way you have fun with these games is to pay them more money, even though it's totally optional and you're not being forced and it's just more of the same game... <sighs> Again, I, I, I may not understand, but if that's how you feel, I can't stop you. But in my personal opinion, from my personal views and experiences, with both these games, even though I haven't played Destiny and I've extensively played Warframe, I don't f consider these games pay for fun. I've, I've been playing Warframe for almost a thousand hours, and I played Warframe for well over, what was it, 15, 20 hours before I spent a penny? And I earned several weapons and new Warframes on my own without paying any money. And I was having fun every second of the way. Although I can't speak for Destiny since I have played Destiny, Friends who I have, who play Destiny, who are hardcore Destiny fans, they were playing the base game and having fun with the base vanilla game way before the DLC was even announced. So take that as you will. But guys, I would love to hear, absolutely love to hear your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on this subject matter. Do you consider Warframe and Destiny to be pay for fun video games? What do you think of my opinion on Warframe and Destiny not being pay for fun video games? I'd love to hear your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comment section below. I love reading comments, please leave a comment. And if you liked the video, if you liked the gameplay, my commentary, if you liked anything about the video, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video if you hit the like button. And finally, I am the Gamertron. I love video games, I love talking about video games, and if that's something that interest you, maybe consider supporting my channel by subscribing to me. Anyways guys, this has been a video, and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Warframe and Destiny pay for fun video games? Are you out of your mind?